Greetings. Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? Rats. I don't know. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. Oh my goodness. Oh man, now I need to add it, can't I? Yep. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. Ooh. I'm sure you won't need the help of the gods when going to farewell. If I had 10 food, I would give you half of it. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. Your thoughts turn to Mr. Leona and his need for some elven hair. The maiden considers this for a moment before slicing a few strands from her hair. As you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of a goblin about you, and they may never be trusted. It is said that sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of Lady Luck's contrary nature. A well, mortal. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. Plague by name and plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. We'll cover some food from the rat carcasses. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human shaped ghost rushing towards you. You are quick to your feet, weapon ready in hand. The ghost stops abruptly. And signaling that it means no harm. Is the vo its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already? Has this place already corrupted your soul? I should not be here. I fear, I fear his servants already know who I am. For a brief moment, the ghost pale eyes flew aging with a mirror. Please come home soon. You blink, and the ghost is gone. At, at your feet is a bag of food.
think there was one new ring locked, maybe he'll have it. Or not. Not afford anything anyway. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Life for all and mercy for none. We play for a token now. Norwich Port is a little more than wooden planks sticking out of water. It's a den of inquiry. Inqui <laughs> no, no, no. Visitors and inquirers are obviously not welcome. You spend your time getting acquainted with the workings of the wharf looking for avenues to gain information. You have found three ways you might find out about the missing ships. Steal some rocks, bribe a walker, or help a captain drown his sorrows. Once the walker gets an idea of exactly what information you're after, he quickly raises his price. Okay. The eyes of the dock walker light up at the sight of such wealth. He seems surprised that he knows anything that someone would pay so much to hear. If Beckham closer to allow the ship hand to whisper to you, I've been there, he says before bashing off into the shadows. Here is your token. Well done. Thank you. Again, a token is at stake. As you attempt to discover more about the bizarre portal you encountered, one name keeps recurring, a mystic named Alicia. Apparently her expertise on all aspects of shadow realms, interdimensional travel and beasts of the world is unparalleled. You track Alicia's caravan. She travels under the guise of a fortune teller. Her appearance doesn't match the whispers about her. She is considerably shorter and has much more of a bird. beard. She audibly clears her throat before speaking to you. Welcome, stranger. She recoils in mock blindness. The dark clouds of fate swirl around you in a tempest. For a little gold, I can help you see your future for the storm. I don't have any gold. The mystic looks around you, around nervously, and saying, Now, what makes you think that I don't know anything about such things? I am but a humble fortune teller. Can I not interest you in such services? Unless I'm able to get they will not gold. let you pass so easily. Prepare yourself.
You sigh as you reach the bodies, finding nothing, if only there were another way to stop this plague of Ragman. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. Yeah. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another oh. floor awaits. Hush. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. One day, as you travel through a forest, you come across a band of fags standing on the roadside. As you draw near, they move to block your path. Hand over half your gold, stranger, for passing through this forest. The weight council demands it. The White Council doesn't like armed mercenaries wandering through their land, the man says as his goons close in around you. And I don't like giving away my gold, which I had plenty full of. Let me see. Are you gonna drown? Of course, I can see everything, don't worry. <laughs> As you approach one of the fallen men, he says with some effort, you regret this. There will be consequences. He cuts off as his voice fails him. You notice a robbed figure standing in the shadows of the forest. He waves his hand and a magical portal appears. Stepping through it, he is quickly gone. You look around to find no trace of the fight remains. I have always felt a kinship to the puppy. Together we help you forget and also recall. You wander among a field of puppies. Too late you realize that the puppies are making you sleepy. Oh god damn it. Let us take a token on their foolishness. It turns out that it's not too hard to track down a man, mad hat, huntsman who's on a crusade across the countryside in search of a mythical beast. He has been spotted interrogating tavern goers, accosting travelers in the woods, and closely scrutinizing various animal droppings. You hear that he recently left the small town of Touch, Touch Cross and was seen heading into the forest nearby. You follow a set of tracks that lead into a leafy glade. Colorful autumnal debris blankets the ground. You stop dead when you hear a suspiciously loud snapping sound beneath your feet. Choose from these options. The ground disappears from beneath your feet. You have a split second to leap toward the ground. You launch yourself through the air, reaching for the edge of this seemingly man made pit. You catch the edge of the pit with a firm grasp and manage to haul yourself up onto the solid ground. In front of you stands a grizzled veteran hunter, adorned with many trophies from his kills. He moves with calm assurance, but his gaze pierces you like a dagger. I am impressed that you escaped my trap. In fairness, it was not designed for one such as you, but someone more substantial. Having spent so many years in the role of hunter, it is unusual to find myself as prey. Let us share a drink at the tavern, where we can converse as men instead of tracking each other's footprints like beasts. Huh. 
hungry mouths, war leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clearing, we meet a peasant woman. Anything stranger? The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You have given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. You retrieve a sack from behind a bush. Bush. This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as thanks. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. Okay. The token is yours. Let us see what you do with your newfound abilities. Ah, the wandering mendicant. Will humanity ever move beyond poverty, religion, and charity? The priest looks at your humble offering for a moment and says, Every morsel is treasured, of course, but the children will need more assistance to make it through the winter. Let me see if I had anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Yeah. No luck, I'm afraid, but take my blessing. Useful. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. Queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. For slaughter, your reward. Okay. Come, play. I do not want to just sit here. Look at the cards you have earned. Now I we have enough to begin a real game. I will. But that's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.